This is Recruitment Agency Ignition with With Andy Andy Whitehead. Whitehead. Helping you build your recruitment employment business fast. Fast, fast. Using digital and automation and one to many systems, tools, and inbound strategies. Hey there and welcome to today's episode. So today I want to talk about a really cool, sexy topic, the million dollar recruiter. Now we've um, seen single person agencies go from one person to five people, go from one person to ten people, seen them go from $10,000 a month to $100,000 a month. We've seen those go from six figures to seven figures and, and, and upwards from a million to two million. Now there's one thing that happens every single time that we see this happen and um, it's not just taking action, that's a key requisite of um, any, any engagement we move forward with, you must be able to follow steps, but it's really talking about what makes a million dollar recruiter, what makes a million dollar recruitment agency and the result is actually quite simple. I'm not going to give you a, um, a set of technical steps or I'm going to give you some technical strategies or some really cool automated strategy that we use. I want you to break it down to a set of metrics. So, grab a piece of paper and write down what your goal is for the next um, next year. So it could be do a million dollars. It could be do five hundred thousand. It might be do. It could be a brand new. You want to br- get to two hundred thousand. It might be you want to go from one million to two million. But what does that actually look like as a set of metrics? So one of the questions I always ask um, prospective clients is, talk to me like a five-year-old, a bit like from the film Philadelphia where um, Denzel Washington says, talk to me like a five-year-old, let's, let's break this down into really simple steps. So if you want to be doing a million dollars a year, what's your average placement fee? Well, it's $10,000. Okay. So in that case, we need to be getting 100 placements, correct? Yeah. Right. How many clients typically give you multiple roles? What's the, what's the average? So we get our average. So say it might be, you get just one role. You might get two roles. You might get three roles. Then we've got an idea of how many clients we've got, we need to have. Now you might have existing clients, for the moment I'm going to keep it nice and simple. But say we got, we want to be doing a million dollars and our average placement fee is $20,000. We've got 50 roles we need to be bringing on board. On average we get two placements per client, so we need 25 new clients, okay? 25 new clients. Now typically, tell me, tell me through the process right now of you bringing on board a new client. Well to bring on board a new client, t- take it, t- give me the steps. So I'll be told, well, it ends with the client telling me yes or no. Okay, is it face-to-face? Is it on the phone? Is it online? How does it actually work? So you break down your client process into a set of steps. And what you're going to find is this. It might be one out of every two, one out of two face-to-face appointments generally close. It might be that you have um, four conversations to get the two face-to-faces. Those four conversations might be you have ten incoming leads, clients booking into your diary. It could be you have 10 referrals, it could be 100 referrals. But whatever metrics you get, at the top end of that funnel, you've now got a figure. So the figure might be you need to get 1,000 leads, or it might be you need to get 200 leads, or it might be you need, might need to get 20,000 leads to equal your figure. Once you've got that view of the world, then you know what type of strategy do you need. Do you need a volume strategy? So that's a strategy whereby we need to go out and create a, a, a client database of 20,000 prospective clients. Or do we have a marketplace whereby, if I think about one of my clients, Johnny, um, in, um, in London, he works in the financial services market, and in his environment there's only 1,400 clients. So just this week we were talking about um, redesigning his website, and the design of his website is, will be completely different from someone else designing the website in a volume environment. Why? Because if we've got a volume business, we want to be using your website as a funnel, and that means that you should be getting clients booking um, inquiries or requesting your services, they come to your website, if it's set up in the correct way with the lead generation funnel, they'll actually be requesting an inquiry from you or asking you to hire for them. Now Johnny's environment, he's only got 1400 clients, so they'll be using his website more as a, um, a tool to demonstrate he walks the walk. It'll still create a funnel, a funnel around it, but it'll be a different outcome. So depend on what your outcome is, so a million dollars, reverse engineer the steps. How many leads do you need up front? Do the same for candidates. How many candidates do you need up front? 
Now you've got a picture of what you need. Do you need a volume model? Do we need to create a database from scratch? Have we got a database we can leverage now? Do we have any position in the marketplace? Can we use um, an automated strategy like our double R double R strategy straight away, which automates the process of engagement and ends with you only speak to those who actually come to you and say, yes, I want to hire, or yes, I'm looking to move. So take your figure, your million dollars, reverse engineer the steps right to the top of the funnel. Now you've got a conceptual view of the metrics we need to be hitting based on your current conversion rates. Now here's the thing, when you start applying positioning strategies and automated strategies, it becomes a lot easier to convert. And what will actually happen is you'll get clients coming to you, which completely changes the dynamic. But right now, if you're doing a million dollars this year, 500,000, 2 million, lay out your metrics start to finish, or rather reverse engineer, engineer the metrics from finish to start. That's what you need to be hitting based on your current process. So if you did $200,000 last year and you want to be doing a million dollars this year, if you keep doing things exactly the same, can you 5x the business? Can you five, find five times more of the hours in the day? Probably not. So you need to think about implementing a strategy along, along that way. So get your metrics down, then look at that and, and identify, right, how do I make that happen? What's the strategy to make that happen? So you should have one of two strategies, and you might have a, a, a dovetail in between, but either a, a volume strategy or a positioning strategy. And that's a joy with digital strategies nowadays, whether you're approaching one or approaching 100,000. The same principles can follow. So that said, lay out your metrics, identify what strategy you need, and I will speak to you on our next podcast. Not quite sure when it's going to be, uh, but uh, you know where to reach us. RecruitmentMarketingInternational.com or Recruitment Agency Ignition. And also hook up with me on LinkedIn. With that said, take care. Speak to you soon. As always, go and make it happen. Discover how to build your recruitment employment agency using one to many automation and inbound strategies before anyone else in your market specialization. Check out RecruitmentMarketingInternational.com.